Hello everyone, thank you for joining me. I'm coming to you uh, live from the Riverview Creative Studio in New Bern, North Carolina. My name is Tony Embry and I'm an independent stamp Stampin' Up! demonstrator. So uh, tonight I thought I would uh, use one of our new and our new catalog. I decided that I would use this set, which is called So Much Happy. And there's so much you could do with So Much Happy. Uh, the dies are awesome. And uh, so I'm gonna do two cards with you um, this evening. And I've done a lot of the um, pre-work, but I'll do some uh, cutting and stuff just to, uh, just to orient you to um, how I did something. But anyway, I'm gonna set this aside for now. Just wanted to give you a reference to it. And uh, so we're gonna be doing move this over we're going to be doing this card which uses uh the dies and you cut out you cut out the uh the letters that way which i'm going to do one with you and this particular one you actually use at the bottom of the card and so um, to make the card a little bit sturdier you could use vellum and i chose to use a uh, cardstock and then i just put this on the inside if that bothers you you could always cover it up or something but anyway so i i just put that there instead of using the vellum but you could you could use the vellum and then you could put uh some decorative um paper down here too so it would show through so or you could use um the clear and uh but anyway so this is one card we're gonna do and uh i thought it would be kind of fun to do bright colors and this one is um all stamped and we're going to use the Stamparatus. So uh, it's a good way to, if you don't have the Stamparatus or uh, you want to share it with your customers, uh, right now with the special going on, it's uh, about $49. And uh, so if you, for every $50 you buy, you get uh, a bonus uh, coupon for next month to spend in August. So there's still a couple weeks on that one. So I'm going to demonstrate how to do this one uh, with the balloons and the happy, how I do it, and then on the inside. So uh, we'll get to it. And do those so I will bring out my little box of I put every I don't know about you but I try to put everything into a little box so that I can keep track of it um, on my desktop because I always lose it so the uh, designer paper we're going to use um, tonight is bright the brights uh, designer series paper and so we're going to use those and then um, the two stamp sets is this is the so much happy which we're going to use the balloons and uh, the rivets and, and everything. Uh, we're going to use the little ones and the big ones actually in our project. Uh, so that's that. And then the Happy Dies um, has some of these things are out of here now. So because I'm, we're going to be using them, but uh, I haven't put this into uh, anything. But see, it has a lot of little banners and and things uh, that go with it. So um, I've cut out a few things, but I wanted to just show you that. So if you don't have that set, um, maybe uh, you'll see. Uh, how I'm doing it tonight and you would like to like to purchase it. So we're also going to use um, the banner new banner punch and uh, So I like to use that and then the colors that we're going to use um, When I on our stamping card is the daffodil Coastal Cabana poppy parade and gorgeous grape. So we're going to do this uh, Stamparatus card first So uh, got to bring I already have another piece of paper, but I use the whisper white and it is four inches by five and a quarter. And that's gonna be a front of a card or an inside card, whichever you choose. And um, we're gonna use these markers I um, to draw the little flat, I mean, to draw on the card. I'll show you how we're gonna do that. But, I, but these are in the colors as well. And then, um, so we're gonna use, we're gonna start with the red card base. And I will talk about the other stuff a little bit later. Okay, so we'll start with this wood. Sorry, my paper is all wackadoo. Okay, so I'm going to bring in the. I'm going to bring in the uh, stamparatus in just a second, and I'm hoping it won't. Um, it'll stay nice and uh, it won't shake the table too much. Okay, so so we're just going to do this. So I keep a piece of paper um, on there so I can I can check it. And so, um, so, and then I mark usually like when I'm doing multiple cards. The thing about the Stamparatus is these plates will move. I've taken, there's another plate here, um, but I took it off just so it wouldn't be in the way, which is nice because it, it's helpful. Uh, but 
on this one, uh, you can see what I've done is I've, I've decided to put the balloons here and uh, the happy. And so when we stamp it, we'll stamp the balloons and the happy. And I am going to use, the, these balloons will be in one color and the happy will be in a different color. But, uh, but I like to test it to make sure that it's going to be where I want it to be. Uh, so that's what I've done here. And, uh, and then I'm going to take this piece of paper out and, and put a new piece of paper in. But it's kind of nice to keep it, keep it there. So I've got my magnets. And uh, I could just turn it over and do it there. But since I already have this piece here, I'm going to do it. So I, I marked where it was going to go. And you don't have to do that. But uh, I find that it's useful for me uh, to do that. So, uh, so I don't especially when I'm on camera, because I, sometimes I tend to uh, forget what I'm doing. And I don't know about you, but sometimes I, uh, I get a little rattled and I can't remember what I'm supposed to do. Okay, so I'm gonna bring this little card out so I can see what I'm doing. So, I don't, so we start, we had these colors um, before. So you can see that I did the happy and the balloons. And then, see, I, I drew all this on. Uh, so you could probably do a better job, but anyway, but I do a little different this time, but I'm gonna set that here so maybe you can see it. No, I guess you can't see it. Put it over here for now. Okay, so we're gonna start with, um, start with the purple. No, so we'll start with the uh, same one I did before. We'll do the balloons of this color. Okay, so I find it's easier if you hold so your stamp pad this way so that you you don't have to go as far and you don't hit the happy. Okay, so I'm going to um, just do the balloons. And the thing about the Stamparatus that you guys probably already know is that if it doesn't stamp to the level that you want the first time, you could uh, you can redo it. Just keep doing it, which I love about it. So anyways, but I found that if you hold it like this, that you can get the ink on without getting it everywhere else. Let's see how it turns out. Most of my stamps are pretty juicy, so they should do okay. Let's see. I just love doing the Stamparatus, especially like this card. You might want to make multiple cards of it. I see it looks good. Uh, I'm going to get my, my little chamois. So I use the chamois to clean off the ink. Make sure I get it off. Where's my shabby? Okay, and then I'm gonna close up this one. And there's a must have been a little bit of discoloration in um, my uh, stamp because their color came through there a little differently. So that this one, I'm going to do, let's say, so what I have to do before I forget is I need to move this down one. So you pull this up and move this down one, like so. So that when it goes, it'll do the next layer, okay? All right, so I'm going to do the balloons in red this time. And I'll do the Coastal Cabana, Happy Coastal Cabana. So it's kind of a fun little card. But the thing is with this set, there are so, so, so many things that you can do with it. So maybe, uh, maybe this will inspire you to do more things, but there's just, I mean, it's, there's endless possibilities, honestly. I was just thinking about uh, how I wanted to showcase it um, tonight. And so I, I decided to do two different things uh, because I thought it would, you know, for one thing, it would feature the, the um, Stamparatus. And I think sometimes people, I know in the beginning, I didn't really realize how valuable it was to me until, until I actually started using it. And, uh, making the cards. When you want to make cards look the same, uh, it's really nice to be able to. Okay, so that's happy, happy. We'll pull this up. Go down one more. And then this time we'll do yellow and purple. So we'll do yellow balloons. Purple. I was going to do a wiper card tonight, but, uh, I realized that um, it was gonna take so long to do it because I'm slow. Um, I really, so I try to be so careful when I'm doing stuff that I, I tend to be a little slower. So I didn't wanna, I know this one is not a live uh, demo for you guys, but I just kind of wanted to make sure that I 
wasn't going to go way over in time. But of course, you could speed it up if you already know where you are. Okay, so this is, so I need to do one more. Happy, happy, happy. So I'll clean that off. Isn't that cheerful looking? It's just really, really, really fun. Okay, break this off. Don't want to get too much water on it. Okay, so this time we're going to do the purple balloons. Purple is really juicy. Purple balloons. And then we'll do the yellow happy. And you could do them, you know, of course you could do any colors you like. There are so many colors to use. But uh, I need to move this down because I forgot. this wood so that I have enough room to do my sentiment which is nice I was gonna try I was gonna do um I'm gonna put a little more purple out there do it again um I was gonna do the um do birthday underneath the happy but it it I couldn't get the birthday close enough to the happy so it kind of looked wonky so I decided I would just put the birthday on a um on a little oh this is really juicy it'll turn out okay I'll have to put it upside down okay dark isn't it okay so we're done with that now I just have to stand up uh, I'm going to clean this off before I mess up clean this off and take that off okay so now we'll move this move that and let's see here. Lift this up. What do you think? Ready? I like it. Okay. So I'm going to move this back up. So this is the Stamparatus. And it's $49.50, I think, in the catalog. And uh, it's really, really a good, um, it's really a good purchase. I'm going to put this back in here for my little card. And I'm going to set this back over here. So, I don't know about you, but I like these little strips. So, when you cut white, sometimes when you cut the, uh, sometimes when you cut the paper, um, you have these strips left over, and I find that they're perfect for, um, for doing sentiments. Some of the sentiments, the narrower sentiments. So, this birthday came in the, in the set. So, I'm going to do it in, i do it red, I think, again. I did last time. So I'm going to use the um, the stamp that I showed you because I like the I like the way that it um, I like the way that it looks. I usually have to stamp this a couple times. I don't know about you guys, but is it? It's I find it hard to get it completely straight. So, and it really doesn't matter if it's not straight, but I don't think. Sometimes, sometimes it doesn't work. Okay, it's not working for me. I'm gonna do one more. It's not working this time that I'm gonna pick one. That one's closer. Okay. So that's that one. And First one I did first. I keep that one. Okay, so I so when you do this, you kind of decide how long you want it to be, and uh, and then you put it in. And with this one, you could do one pointy end and one flag end, or you could do the same. I like to do it uh, like this. I like to be able to see what I'm doing too. Oh, yeah. So this is my new favorite punch. Oh, it's fun to mess around with it. Okay, let me get out some dimensionals. Put some dimensionals on it. And okay, now which way did I do it? 
cut that way. This way. Okay. <laughs> this is funny. So funny. Oh, okay. Not bad. It's 15 minutes for this one. And this one's just about done. I'm going to put this on and then we will mount it on the cardstock. Okay, so I'm going to put it right here. Hopefully it's as straight as... Probably as straight as the last one. Okay. And then um, I'll pull out my markers so and I'll show you what I did last time. Um, was Now you could do itty. I do the, the writing tip. And then I just do like a... This, not this. And then I draw like a thing down here, right? And this, because every there, there's one that comes with the set, um, it's hard to do it. And then I can do little big stuff here. Okay, then the red ones. This, and you could, you know, you could do different ones. Or if you don't have these colors, you could do a different color. This. You saw the last one I did, I did it, um, and I don't have the daffodil, so I'm using uh, the bubble bee. It's just, it's fine, it's yellow. But you could do it anyway, you don't, or you don't have to do it. I just like adding a little bit of this stuff to it. Like that. I kind of like the squiggly at the bottom. Kind of looks funny if you don't, they look more like jelly beans if you don't put uh, bows and stuff out of. Or eggs or something. Is that best? I like the squiggly one better. So the last time I did the straight, and I'm thinking, you know, because I'm thinking it's weighted, and so they're they're straight, and then this one I'm like, okay, well, I like the, it's a little bit better. Okay, let me get my red card out, and I have another piece of white cardstock somewhere. Here. Okay, what did I do inside? Okay, so I'm going to mount this one on here right now. Let's see, where's my glue? I like to use my Tombow, or some people call it green glue. Uh, I kind of like to call them the names they are because if your customers are looking at the catalog form, there's no green, green glue listed. So I kind of tend to go with it. But if you're doing a demo for demos, it doesn't really matter. So how does that look? Okay, so on the inside now, I need to do a couple, I need to do a couple balloons. So I did those, okay. So I find that it's a little easier for me to do it uh, do it before I so you'll see what I did with this one so if I forget see what happens sometimes I well I try to put a little piece of paper here but if I forget that it comes over and it just doesn't look as tidy so I want it to be tidy as I can be you know the perfectionist I was talking to my doctor about uh my anxiety that I've been having and I haven't really had anxiety but all of a sudden I've been getting anxiety again he said you know Anxiety is caused because of people that are perfectionists. They're like, well, that makes sense because I always, I, and I don't think of, I just like to do, I like things to turn out. I like to do my best. So this would, I'm not saying most people don't, I'm just saying that that's how I am. So I got a little booby there, but that's okay. These are hand stamped, so sometimes they, no matter how much we do, they won't be exactly perfect. Okay, so then there's that one, and then close up this with purple. And stamp this one. Okay. This one here. You still have plenty of room to write on this card. So that's a good thing. I just love all the bright colors. It's so pretty. Okay. And you could do, you know, you don't have to do this on the inside. I don't always do things on the inside of my cards, but I, I wanted to on this one. What I moved up to. Oh, well. Uh, okay. 
So there's that. I'm not going to I'm not going to attach this right now. I'm just going to set it here because I, I'm going to probably redo it because I don't I want it to look nice. But anyway, there's that. So that one's done. So I'm going to set that one aside. And close up all of this. Put this stuff back in my back out of my way for now because we won't be using those anymore. So they won't be in my in my way, and I won't be tempted to mess with them. Put this out of the way. Clear my space. Okay, now. So, birthday here. Okay, so, I'm going to put this over here. I'm not going to stamp on this card, I don't think. Maybe on the inside. Okay, so, on this card, we have... We're going to use the Granny Apple Green. And this is the... Uh, this is the um, happy die. And so what it does is um, on this bar that goes across here, it doesn't cut. So the bar on the top and the bar on the bottom don't cut. So if you, um, so all of that's gonna cut out is the happy, okay? So if you put this at the bottom of your card, um, then you'll see what's gonna happen. But I wanted to show, I wanted to show you this because, um, because I've done the other ones already in the interest of time. And so I want to show you, uh, I'm going to show you what one looks like. So these I cut out of DSP. Okay. So these are out of DSP. And uh, so then this on this edge, so I cut it out of the DSP and then this is still attached to the DSP sheet. So then I put it in my, um, in my um, cutter and I cut this at a quarter of an inch. Okay. So I have a quarter of an inch edge here. And uh, so that's, that's what I did. This one is automatic because we're dependent, I put this at the bottom, okay? So this is at the bottom of the sheet to maximize how much paper we're gonna save. And then I just put this back in the cutter and take it off at quarter of an inch and you'll see what we're gonna do with it. So I have, I have those uh, already done and so they're in here. Uh, and what I'm gonna do now is bring over, bring over the uh, Big Shot. And I'm gonna, since I already have this on the card, I'm going to, and what I did was I um, put this on the card. This is, because if you notice, this is longer. It's not, it's not even. So it's an inch and a quarter here and an inch and a quarter here is what I, is what I did. I, I just um, made it an inch and a quarter uh, just so it's kind of centered in the card. And then the other ones are going to be centered over this one. So it'll be, it'll be fine. But anyway. So then I put it in like this, and then I'm just going to run it through. Try not to shake too much, but it's got to shake a little bit. Sorry, I apologize in advance. That's why I'm not doing so many of them. Okay. This would take this off. These little pages. So I'll move this back over here. Can't wait till our new sheet comes Okay, so then I'll pull this off. You'll see what I'm gonna do. So pull this off. There's still little pieces in it. Okay, so I'll set that over. I'm not gonna use that anymore because I've already done the cuts. Okay, so, so then, see how this is? Is this cool? Yeah. So we have happy at the bottom of the card. So then when I fold the card, uh, there's so many options. I'm only giving you I've just given you one option, actually, but there are so many different options that you can do. Um, if you haven't played with this set, there's just so much you can do with this. Let's see, it's like that. Now, you could put, so what happens when you put a piece of paper under it, okay? So when you put a piece of paper in it, so you could see it. So, or you could do vellum, and then, um, you know, the, the what I'm gonna do for this, though, is gonna, I'm gonna put, uh, I'm gonna put DSP on top of it. So if you noticed, when I did this one, this was uh, red. And so then I put red um, DSP on top of it. So it kind of, I made it a little bit heavier, but you don't have to do that. But I, I did it because I wanted to have the same look across the card. And uh, that's that. Okay. So I had done this one previously in yellow when I was experimenting to see how I wanted to do it. Okay. So let me pull out the rest of my little things and we will design how we want our card to be. 
that we have little balloons. I already cut those out. Okay, so we will see, we will see, we will see. So this will go behind here. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and do that because that way we'll have that out of the way. Let me get my glue. I had it somewhere, oh, here it is. Um, now the glue does dry clear, but um, sorry, I need to get my head in the way. But you know, I, you will get, I get some on it and I don't put any on that. I just put it like here. I don't even, I don't even put glue on the numbers. I mean, on the letters there. Okay, and I've already cut this, <clears throat> I've already cut this piece. Okay, so I would give you the dimensions of it. It'll be in my, in my instructions, but. So it is five and a half inches, which is the width of the card, by uh, one and three quarters. Or what? One and a half. Yeah, one and a half. Okay, so. So then I'm just going to uh, put it here and here. And then I'm gonna change it at the front to make sure that it's it's okay. Move it back just to here. Okay. So see how that looks? But you know, if you want it a little bit brighter, you could use a different color, but the happy is not attached, but it really doesn't matter because it's attached everywhere else. I just didn't want to put any more glue on that. Okay, so there's that. So that's done. So then, um, then we'll see which one do we want to put here. Do we want to put this here? Should be almost the same. Or do we want to put this up here? And then this one here. What do you guys think? I kind of like the yellow. All right, so uh, this one, I'm gonna do the same thing. Glue, there it is, door. Gosh darn it, I need to make little zones or something. Is that how I did that? Yep. Sorry, I have to, like, that's why I have that other card there, because I'm like, okay, so many different things going on. And I often use tweezers to do this stuff, but it's okay. All right, so now you can um, you could make it like this, or you could um, you could move it off, see off to the side, or whatever, uh, so it's not straight on. If you wanted to show the greed, uh, I'm choosing not to do that. Let's see what I'm doing here. Yeah, and see if it comes over a little bit at the bottom. Once it's uh, it's all dry, you could uh, you could cut it off. You could just snip it off. It's no big deal. No, no, no big deal. Okay. Is that pretty? I like it. Okay. So let's see what other colors you want to use. I always like to have options, so that's why I I cut out extra sometimes. So that these um, you just kind of eyeball them. I mean, you can measure if you want, but I. I'm just kind of eyeballing them. Okay, so then what I did, you see what I did on these? So you don't, you could do it like this if you want to. I chose not to do it, keep those, because see how I, I cut those? Because I did a what, I wanted my balloons to be there, but you would make them all the way go across if you want to. But I didn't do that. So um, let's take my handy snips. And you could be as precise as you want. Whatever, whatever suits you. Okay, I did this one. You could do it however you want. Okay, now you could just go along here. I did it with the paper cutter last time, oh, which you can't do with the paper cutter, but uh, you could do it with steps. Not a big deal. But then, uh, if you decide you need to trim it up a little bit, you could. Is that cool? 
Okay, so that's that one. Okay, so, and then I'm gonna do the same thing with this one. Okay, so I'm gonna cut this one off. Just a little bit like this. I'm gonna cut this one off. I love this uh, DSP with the little dots in it. It's so pretty. It's the problem though, I have to buy, I, it's my favorite. So, you know, you only get a couple sheets of uh, each color with the dots. So, uh, so yeah, I have to, I have to ration it because I wanna, okay. So then I'm trying to decide yeah, I want to do it this way. Okay, so now on this one, I kind of can't get away with not. Um, well, let me get my little glue thingy. This little lifesaver keeps me from having such a mess on my because the glue won't stick to it. My mat. Make sure you can see me because I've. Uh, this isn't a live video. Rare for me, I mostly always do Facebook Lives. And uh, so, but I like this project. So rather than do another one for, uh, I do a video on Saturday night. So rather than do another video for Saturday Night Live, I'm just gonna post this one because it features uh, one of our stamps from the big catalog. I have, I did one of the, I don't know if you, or you guys follow me at all, but uh, I did one of the, uh, the tree and I did fall and I did winter and uh I love them but I wasn't what I was paying it I wasn't paying attention that it was in the new mini catalog um because I was trying not to feature a lot with it right now because I'm trying to I'm trying to just feature the big catalog and get people to buy because I think sometimes people forget about the big catalog at least I do. I look at it and there's like so many things in there. And I look at it again, I'm like, okay. Or I see somebody's project and I'm like, I didn't see that in the catalog. It's funny how we just kind of don't always notice everything right away. Isn't that cool? I love it. I like happy, happy, happy. Even if it's not on um, birthday happy, I still love it. I just like happy. Okay, bring this in. I, uh, if you follow me on Facebook, you know, I, uh, I try to not stray into the problems of the world. I try to post affirm affirming posts and uh, I'll do some jokes, but I try to do um, affirmations because for me, you know, you could, I always say you can be negative. It's easy to go, it's more natural to go negative, but uh, you know, if you, you can get it to the point where you're just, you think about the positive and not the, always the negatives of situations. And that's been my life mantra for a really long time. Uh, I'm a cancer survivor for about 15 years now. And uh, it, you know, they say, oh, it changes your life. But I mean, it does because it forces you to think about living every day as opposed to living. Uh, and you're living more the boat, but not worrying about things you can't change, things you can't do anything about. And uh, so I... I try to do that because I think that's one way I can, I'm going to do it this way because I think it's easier for me to get flat. Okay, so this one, you could, I just like to, <laughs> this, this has a little sticky on it. This little thing is sticky on it, so it's so funny it sticks. But you could do it however you like. But I kind of like to stack it. And I line up this happy over here. And then, um, and then do it, but uh, I don't know. It kind of looks like, to me, it's kind of like a marquee, you know, like happy, 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 flashy lights, flashy lights, flashy lights. Okay, so that's that. And then we're gonna take out our little balloons. So I cut these out ahead of time just because they uh, tried to stay with it by 30 minutes. So I'm trying to do that. I'm at 34 right now, so I'm a little over. So I need to get my booty moving. Okay, so I use, uh, Ice dimensionals uh, for this particular, I don't want to cut those right now. I use dimensionals for this particular project, for the balloons, I pop them up. Okay, so, and you could, uh, here's the thing. 
with the balloons, you could decorate them with some DSP. Uh, you know, you could stamp them and do it. Like I um, choose to do them uh, solid because there's so much other um, stuff going on. So that's why I did it. But you know, like I said, personal taste, there are so many options, I'm telling you. There, you could, I was just, when I was trying to narrow it down to what I wanted to do, I was like, okay, well, there's just so many different options, you know, that uh, that you can do with it. So it's a, it's a wonderful set to have because, um, because of so many options. And when I, when I, uh, when I try to uh, get people to, or when I try to do something to let people know about uh, a set or something, I always try to think about four or five different projects that you can use it for. Because to me, there's so much to choose from. And if you buy something, you know, you should be able to get four or five different projects out of it, I think. I'm shaky. It's that time of the day. I probably had an extra cup of coffee or something. <clears throat> okay, but these little, these little things are so cute, but oh my gosh. Sometimes we hold it on to them. <laughs> okay, this is what my tweezers are for. Tweezers come in handy. Okay. And I know the take your pick tool with a little thing on it, but I, I haven't been successful in trying to use that because it just, it's just me. It's not that tool. Okay. All right, so that's that. And then, um, this one I put a little bit of glue on. So, make sure you can see it. I just put, I just kind of like dot glue on it. If I can. Come on. That's kind of what I try to do, is dot glue on it. I love these holes. I mean, you could use string if you wanted to. Uh, you probably could put, uh, you ever used to put, we used to put like uh, glue on string and, uh, you know, roll it in the glue and stuff and then it would, uh, you could shape it to whatever you wanted. Okay, I don't want to cut these. So what I did, what I did was move it over. I got your hair so it went down the H. Just a little bit goopy. But anyway, that's what I did. You could do that if you want to. It's your business, as my tab says. I love her to death. She's so she's such a positive, positive, positive person. And uh, she uh, she does a lot with vegan. Uh, I used to do vegan, but uh, I uh, wasn't working for me health wise, so I changed back to eating some that's Anyway, that's how I met her because she does all this. Um, cool stuff with vegan. She's been a vegan for a couple years now. And so she uh, started out doing her journey and talking about her journey and everything and what she was doing and her meals and stuff like that. And so she's just got, uh, she just has a really positive outlook. And it, it's, it's what I, it's what I profess to do as well. So, uh, you know, I try to stay away from neg negative situations. I just don't, I don't go there. And kindness is important. We need to show more kindness. And what I love about Stampin' Up! is that there are so many affirming products that uh, I've never sent a card to someone who did it. You know, tell me how much joy it brought to their life. Uh, and how they don't want to part with them. And, you know, I don't know about you, but that is what I want in my life. More of that. So, uh, is that cool? So, see, now I have to trim this. Uh, let me look at my other card because, you know, where did I put it? Oh, here it is. Because I have to make sure I did it right. Because I don't want to, like, promise I did something wrong. So, that look cool. They're told totally different things. Okay, so, then what I do is just turn it over like this, right? And uh, just cut this extra off. Because now it's dried. So, it won't. and if it, this bothers you, you can trim it off. It doesn't bother me. And if it steep, stops it from going into the envelope, you know, you could always cut it off. But I'm not cutting it off. I like it. Okay. 
Sticky, sticky, sticky. Okay, so now, now we have the stud. So I want to do the inside of the card, right? So I think what I did on the inside of this one was just birthday and then uh, one little balloon. Okay, so let me get a piece of the white paper again. I didn't even know that. You know, I did two different orientations of the cards. Isn't that cool? I didn't even intend to, tend to do that. It just happened. I don't know. Just happened. Okay, that's the way the world works sometimes. So I'm going to use a little star one again because I like it. And then I'm going to do, what am I going to do? Red, maybe? Let's do red. I like red. It's happy color. It's a very, very, very happy color. Okay. All right, so I'm going to stamp this one over here. Here we go. And then to find my little thingy again. Okay, so then what am I doing? I'm going to do it like this. Here we go. That was better. I like that one better. That would turn out better. Let's see. Can I do... Do I dare attempt a bow? I just don't know. Let's see what we can do. I don't know if I can or not. I have trouble seeing exactly where to put the... It's okay. Not perfect. That's okay. The wind's blowing, so I blew it over a little bit. Okay, that's my story. Okay, so then this will go inside here, and I will put that out after we're done uh, here because I don't want to take up any more time. So we've done this card, and we have done, and so this is what I did before. Okay, so these are using uh, the dies, the happy, 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 happy dies. And then, uh, so this is your standard uh, five and a half, well, it's eight and a half by five and a half, right? And, this, and then it's uh, scored at four and a quarter inside. Okay, so that's that card. And then for the front, we do uh, five and a quarter by four. Okay, and that's the white, the white or whatever color you're going to use. And so both cards are done the same way. They're just oriented. They're just oriented differently. Okay, so here's the one we did. Here with the squiggly lines. And then here's the one I did previously. Okay. So uh, again, thank you guys so, so much for joining me. And I, I hope you enjoyed uh, this card. And I hope that you will uh, have a wonderful rest of the weekend. And God bless. And I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.